Well, everybody, if you know what this is, you know that I've officially crossed over to the Coyote side. And so on today, I'm going to introduce to you all the Volvo power steering pump for this Coyote swapped Fox body. And yes, I said Coyote because it just makes it easier. So what's happening everybody? It's your boy Ken O'Shawn with the world famous do 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 built versus bought you all on today. I am going to just go over with you all a um, couple of the decisions that I made as I'm still awaiting for other parts to come in as it relates to the 5.2 Illuminator setup. Um, and today we're going to talk about the Volvo electric power steering pump now first let me talk about why i decided to go with this power steering pump number one um for you all that know um when you're doing the coyote swap things of that nature i don't i didn't have uh, all of the brackets that that came with the um the motor because of what it was so in that um if you run a regular power steering pump and you still are going to run ac and things of that nature um, two companies that I know uh, sell a kit. You have the Power Body Hour kit, and then you have the Vintage Air sells a kit. When you start adding all of the amounts up, the bracket itself, I believe, is just six hundred dollars for Power Body Hour. But then you're gonna have to get the uh, AC mount, which is about two hundred dollars. So now that brings it up to eight. Then you got to get a compressor. Let's say a compressor is around four hundred. So that's around what now we're at twelve hundred dollars now. Then you need a power steering pump. Well, you know, whatever that you want to say that could be, it could be anywhere from two to four hundred. But and then you have to get a power steering or a pump reservoir. And so that's all it's gonna be around somewhere between sixteen to eighteen hundred dollars just to put power steering and AC on your car. Now I've been following people putting the Volvo pumps on their car, and I did not understand why, because I like I said, I'm I'm new to the game. As it relates to this stuff and so i was trying to understand why and I, I i get it now i thought you know it was for other reasons but and everybody may have their reasons of why they want to do it but for me i i just didn't want to have to spend that extra money and it's a reason why i didn't want to have to spend the extra money because you all know i am starting off na with this setup so yeah it still looks the same all right but i am starting off being na then if I transition over, I don't want to spend all this money for these brackets, depending on what supercharger setup, turbo, whatever I'm going to do. I don't want to have to spend this money and then throw money away. Let me tell you all something. As the person that is starting over again, I have learned my lesson as it relates to strategically thinking about what the future is going to look like for my build. And this was a strategic purchase so that not only can I save money, but then also when it's time to cross over to boost and things of that nature, I really don't have to switch nothing around. I can keep what I have and whatever comes with that kit, we can make it work. So let me show you all what I have here on today. So first, yes, this is, this is the pump right here. Brand new. Um, for the most part, I think it's new. <laughs> if not, it, lo it looks new enough to me. <laughs> no, nah, seriously. Um, brand new Volvo pump. And... But with that, I also have this bracket over here, which I'll explain to you all in a minute. And then outside of that, we have the harness here that goes here. And then this harness uh, that goes here. Now, today is not an install video, but I will break, I will kind of show you all the install and how this works. But let me explain to you all where I got this from and how I came about even knowing about this kit. So, yes, this was sold to me as a kit. And so shout out to my man, Terry Deal. Number one, I kind of already knew Terry, but I was on um, Coyote Swap. I'm sorry, Coyote uh, Swap Fox Bodies on Facebook. And I was just looking up information for the, the Volvo Electric. Let me make this good. This is an electric power steering, uh, um, uh, electric power steering reservoir. Sorry. And when I was looking it up and trying to get more information about it, um, I saw that Terry actually sells a whole kit. 
He sells the bracket, he makes it himself, and he also sells you the pump with the wiring and everything. Now, let me tell you about my experience with Terry. Hands down, from a customer service standpoint, I mean, Terry could not communicate more to me. And, and in fact, he, he over communicated, which I love. Um, he had made sure like, look, here goes your tracking. It shows that it's on the way. I mean, he even sent me the photos of it being delivered to my house. So shout out to Terry. But um, so you all can have an idea, like I'm going to show you the bracket and where it is going to be mounted. So here is his bracket right here. And he already has everything uh, set up for the pump to actually go in. So you see you have that that mount, that hole, etc. And it all correlates to the ones that are here. So this is what it looks like um, with the pump actually mounted on the bracket. And so as you can see, it has these three points here um, where it goes in at. This is how the bracket will sit and it technically the bracket is going to sit right here in this inner fender right there now for you all that may be considering this i do want to state that um, i believe my horn was mounted in the spot where this is about to go and so um i mean obviously i could just find another location for the horn here's the thing i didn't i wasn't even using the horn for the most part but um that's how this goes on there but before I actually, I'm going to try to attempt to show you all what it looks like sitting up in there. I can't bolt it up because I have to move the car over, take the fender off, etc. But I will show you um, what it looks like via not only this photo, but I'm going to show you the video that Terry sent me as it related to this pump. Check this out. Hey, I just wanted to take this video, uh, show you what it looks like before I ship it out or when I ship it out. Um, so made sure the holes lined up, made sure all that was good. Uh, just for the purest, it is a Ford Motor Company product. Volvo was owned by Ford when these were out. So it's still a Ford product. Um, and then, like I said, I hook up these all the time just to test them and show people that they work. So... I don't like to run them long just because they don't have the actual oil in them when I ship them. But that's just to let you know that it does work. So you 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 saw um, what he had his explanation, and then you know you you get to hear it run. Yes, it makes it, it's pretty loud to an extent, you know. But it's cool though. I mean, I I like it. It's electric. You know, I'm not trying to save horsepower by not having power steering up. That's that's not the case. But um, yeah, I'm gonna be able to mount that over there. Um, you saw the mountain uh, location. I'll probably uh, work do an install video. It's not really much. I mean, it's only literally two bolts here on the back of the bracket of how you want or however you want to uh, put it on um, your car. This is several different ways, but yeah. That is how I'm, I'm gonna do mine. I'm just gonna use the two bolts that go into there, but I may do an install video, but it would be a long enough video to kind of show um, because I'm not installing it today, but I did want to reveal that I have it, but it's just more to come on that. So I'm actually looking uh, very um, forward to this going on the car because it's something new for me. So this is pretty, pretty cool. Technically I could show you on this side, but it literally will go right there. Let me see if I can put it up there. Kind of hard to hold the camera and do that but it kind of goes all the way to the end no the tire won't touch it um once it's inside the uh the fender on that side but yeah it goes all the way to the end the tire doesn't touch it and as you can see he had it installed on his but yeah as you can see my horns are right there um because they were mounted right here but this is the area where it would be mounted so like i said i apologize for the bad camera angles it's just hard to get light and stuff up in there but I do apologize for the bad uh, camera angles, but more so, I just wanted to, for lack of better words, the reason I did this video is because I just wanted to show support uh, to Terry and his, his um, you know, his contributions to the Fox Body community, the Coyote Swap community and everything. And so 
as a person that is not I'm not new to fox bodies, but I'm new to the the coyote swap world and you know this is a another place where you have to learn and you know it comes with a whole bunch of other stuff but um i do want to support the people that that that, that look out for me um i did purchase this so I purchased it from him but he just just the level of service and stuff that he gave very very pleased with it and excited about what this is going to look like so i am in the season of collecting the parts it is a very very slow process and i'll be honest with you all even though a part of me is enjoying it a part of me is a little bit in a space of man i'm starting over again and so at the end of the day like i said with every video you just got to find god in all of this and then just have your steps ordered and do it the right way don't go broke over these cars but make the right decisions for now and for the future so that you're not wasting money today because that is the biggest lesson that i learned like when i bought this pump I said, I want to make better decisions for any changes that will come later on down the line. And that was the purpose of this pump. So with that being said, if you like this video, make sure you like, and if you do me a favor, make sure you subscribe as well, man. I'm almost, I'm at 26,500 subscribers. And uh, my, the anniversary of this channel is coming up in a few days. And so I'm very, very grateful for that. I done hit 500 videos and very grateful for all the people that have followed me, even the ones that used to follow me, unfollow me, whatever, the commenters, the likers, the haters, the lovers. I'm grateful for all of it because you can't do nothing great without taking the other stuff that come along with it. So it's your boy, Kenneth Sean, Bill vs. Bought. I'm out.